several different mutations affecting the human cardiovascular system have been discovered by the analysis of their orthologs in model organisms like the zebrafish. Many developmental and physiological processes could not have been described without the observation of disruption phenotypes following the generation and isolation of mutations. Random mutagenesis is performed by exposing animals to radiation or chemicals. A common substance in this concern is ethyl nitrosurea or ENU, which is a highly potent alkylating agent that mainly takes effect on sperm cell precursors. In the basic ENU mutagenesis workflow protocol, Male adult zebrafish are incubated with ENU for a certain time. These mutagenized males are then bred with wild-type females to singularize the lesions in heterozygous carriers by recombination. Again, offspring is bred with wild-type fish to isolate defective sequences. Random brother sister mating of this generation should recover different mutations visible in homozygous phenotypes. Although, ENU screenings in zebrafish require less resources and staff compared to screens in mice. Breeding several generations is elaborate and time-consuming. If you are interested in genes affecting cardiac function, identifying possible mutations in heterozygous animals would be a useful workflow modification. In the course of an ENU screening, rapid detection of minimal deviance in physiology could provide an indication for the expression of defective genes. Cardiac performance can be examined by ECG monitors or arterial blood pressure measurement in mammals, but it is difficult to capture in tiny animals like zebrafish larvae. The macroscopic analysis by data mining of video signals would be to the best advantage in this concern. Several publications described the observation of vital parameters like heart rate and heart rate variability, or HRV, by means of signal analysis in developing model organisms like Denier or Xenopus. Changes in heart rate or HRV could be screened and might serve as an indicator to create a pool of heterozygous individuals. Breeding fish from this pool generates offspring with increased probability to display homozygous phenotypes. To verify whether heterozygous heart mutants display significant changes in heart rate and HRV, we chose the Sabrefish breakdance mutant, which was discovered during an ENU screen. Breakdance mutants express a defective potassium channel involved in repolarization, causing atrioventricular contractions in a 2 to 1 ratio and several secondary physiological dysfunctions. Cobb showed in 2005 that this characteristic phenotype can be observed most probably three days post fertilization. Whereas every contraction of the atrium is followed by a ventricular contraction in wild-type fish. Only every second beat of the atrium is followed by a ventricular contraction in homozygous breakdance mutants. In contrast, heterozygous breakdance mutants appear to exhibit rhythmic cardiac performance at a regular frequency. Differentiation of heterozygous heart mutants might require detailed examination of cardiac function by digital motion analysis. To get heterozygous progeny, we identified wild-type and breakdance mutant pools from our own breeding colony to serve as parental generation during subsequent single matings. Animals were kept in 50-liter aquaria at 28 degrees Celsius and bred in swimming breeding baskets. On the next day, when a fish spawned, eggs that fell through the grid could be collected from the basket's bottom. Eggs were then filtered through a sieve and washed with aquarium water. The collected eggs were then transferred to small beakers and put into a temperature controlled water bath at 28 degrees Celsius. After 10 hours, unfertilized eggs have to be displaced to prevent fertilized ones from being infected. Unfertilized eggs can be easily removed with a pipette as they appear cloudy and brighter through the microscope. Three days after fertilization, fish were prepared for microscopic analysis in an incubation chamber. For anesthetization, we prepared a solution of MS222-3-cane in water 
with an initial concentration of 100 mg per liter. As treecane is acidic and lowers the pH value, we neutralize the solution with sodium hydroxide. To embed the fish in the incubation chamber in subsequent experiments, we set up a solution of 1.5 gram low gelling point agarose in 100 ml of treecane. To anesthetize the animals, we incubated them in treecane for 3 minutes at a temperature of 28 degrees Celsius. The incubation chamber was then filled with 1.5 ml of preheated low gelling point agarose. A single fish was then placed in the warm agarose and moved laterally to enable observation through the inverse microscope. Ice was then used to cool down the agarose locally and to fix the fish in its current position. The incubation chamber was then transferred to the preheated microscopy stage of a Leica DMIL inverse microscope. Cardiac movement was recorded with a NAC Hotshot SC high speed camera at a frame rate of 100 frames per second through a 10 times objective. We then focused on the heart region and recorded cardiac activity for 4 minutes. For a digital analysis of heart rate and HRV, video footage was imported in a custom made computer program and tagged with a line marker across the ventricle wall. Visible ventricular contractions create changes in luminance across this line. This line profile can be exported for every frame. As luminance means darker or brighter, the grayscale values of the profile can be converted into numbers. Finally, these data serve as the basis for the generation of graphs, the detection of peaks, and the analysis of beat to beat frequencies. While the mean count of peaks per second was referred to as the actual heart rate, HRV was determined to be the standard deviation of beat to beat frequencies. After the processing of data, the fish can be gently released from the agarose and returned to the beaker. As expected, homozygous breakdance mutants exhibit a significantly reduced heart rate compared to wild-type fish. In addition, heterozygous mutants display a reduction of similar significance. In contrast, heart rates do not differ significantly in homozygous and heterozygous mutants. Surprisingly, analysis of HRV doesn't provide significant results in the examined mutants. From a pool of fish with different genotypes, a large number of heterozygous mutants could have been isolated. Since the method should be applied to unknown heart mutants, heart rate and HRV fingerprints of different classes of mutations have to be determined. Currently, the described procedure includes countless conversion and calculation steps. In order to be established in a future EONU screen, these steps have to be automated and integrated in a device.